Hello duckies and welcome to Lord Winklebottom Investigates. This is a point and click mystery set in a 1920s style world where animals can talk. So let's get into this. This is a demo, just so you guys are aware. Oh my god, he's dead! The master's dead! Well then, Brumble, that was quite the case, wasn't it? Oh, indeed so. Already made the evening edition, don't you know? I picked up a copy when I went to buy the boat ticket. We'll be quite the heroes, I think. Hopefully they don't dwell too much on the part where one of the weasel gang cracked you over the head with a pool cue and nearly made off with all the gold, eh? Huh. Oh, Richard Blighter called me from behind. Just not cricket, is it? Still, all worked out in the end, my friend. And just in time, too, as we have this party with Admiral Gilfrey to attend. Look, who is this chap anyway, Winklebottom? Gilfrey's an old school friend of mine, top of his class, went on to become an admiral, then latterly undertook a number of privately funded expeditions to all four corners of the globe. Ah, bit of a swat then, eh? We have no time for his sort at my school. Evidently so, my friend. Right, let's get this boat ticket and be on our way. Where is the ticket anyway, Frumble? Oh, I slipped it in the newspaper for safekeeping. should be a little more balanced now. Ah, do you remember this case? Hoxton Fox Gang, wasn't it? Made a mint selling forgeries of famous works of art until you stepped in. That's right, get this one as a souvenir. It's a reproduction of the goat with a pearl earring. I'm rather fond of this scarf. Shame it's a bit on the short side though. You know, we really must replace this waste paper bin. It's starting to look rather ragged. Yes, and whose fault is that? Don't know why you keep buying these straw ones. You know you can't resist a nibble when you're peckish. As I say, we should replace it. Yes, a nice new straw basket, I think. One of Frumble's many teacups. One of Frumble's... A jug of milk, delivered fresh this morning, I believe. Indeed, yes. Miss Daisy brought it over personally. A pot of tea. It's still brewing. Okay. Winklebottom cracks the case. A touch sensational, but they appear to have got most of the salient facts correct. Never mind all that. What did it say about me? Ah, well, let me see. Yes, here it is. Lord Winklebottom was assisted, as ever, by his associate, Mr. Frumple. Mr.? Dash it all. I didn't spend eight years in medical school just to be called Mr. Bunch of bloody hacks. Well, never mind that now, old boy. We have to get going if we're to catch this boat before nightfall. No, I'm quite vexed now. I shan't leave until I've had a fresh cup of tea to calm me down. This one's practically tepid. Oh, very well. I'll make you a fresh cup. The pot should be ready now. Ah, here's the ticket. I'll keep hold of this for now. to pour some out for the good doctor. And in with the tea. I'll take this. Good for the old bones, you know. I put the milk in the... Here you are then, a nice fresh cup of tea. Ah, was that wrong? 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 What sort of animal do you think I am? A most fine one, my friend. Come along, we need to be off. The ticket says we are to meet a Mr. Walters at the docks, and he'll sail us out to Gilfrey's Island. Oh, very well. I suppose this will have to do. Tea first, I ask you. Ah, just smell that salty sea air. It takes me back to my childhood holidays on the coast with Gilfrey. Even then you could tell the old boy was destined for a life on the waves. 
damn much care for it myself. Went on a ghastly school trip to Blackpool with the lad. Tried to go on a donkey ride. Donkey was furious. He told me I was too heavy. Wretched fellow. Well, never mind that now, old boy. We need to find the docks and this salty Walters chap who's going to take us over to Gilbert's Island. A number of wooden barrels. They all seem to be sealed up and in use. One of the old English kings lost his head in the Great Frog War, if I remember my history. Careless, if you ask me. I'm not quite sure what I want this for, but what did I do? Picking up litter, eh? Very public spirited. Let me in, you bleeding crooked canine! Oh, uh, hello, sir. Sorry. In a bit of a jam here. Yeah? A good day to you, sir. If bleeding well isn't a good day, that reprobate Walters has locked me out of my own pub. I do apologise, sir. I shouldn't take it out on you, like. But he's going to drive me out of business if I don't get back in there to stop him. Indeed so. Quite the predicament. So this is your establishment, I take it? Indeed so, sir. It used to be my father's. But I took it over as the oldest of the litter. We do a good trade serving the sailors and dock workers, even if you have to put up with less savoury characters from time to time. I say, when Cobottom, I do hope he's not talking about the chap who's meant to sail us out of the island. Can we help you get the door open? I'm rather afraid I have business with this Walters fellow. He's bleeding well gone and locked the door from the inside. And we spare keys and we... Sounds rather like your fault, eh, what? I do have a certain talent for retrieving things from high places, yes. Oh, if you wouldn't mind, sir. It's a window on the right up there. Not the left one, that leads to the old way, and we had it sealed up as it lets a proper terrible draft in right through the pub. We catch our death if you open that one. Ah, pearls for a swine. Ah, pearl. Lord Winkle. I can see them, but they're rather frustratingly out of reach. I have reservations about doing this. Ah, Pearl. Lord Winklebottom committing. I'd really rather. I'm not. Hmm. My steadfast companion and colleague, that original Frumple. Hmm. A number of wooden. Let me in, you bleed. Well, goodbye. I say, don't you think we should help? Oi, keep away from that window. I just don't know what I'm supposed to. I'd really rather... I'd really rather... Hmm. Ah, per These must be the keys of that... Well, I can see them, but they're rather frustrating. I'd really rather. Hmm. Let's try to go into the docks. Maybe we can get some rope or something. A long piece looks a bit like. Let's take this with us just in case. You know, Frumble, we might be able to make use of this saw. Blimey, not the friendliest chap, is he? You know, Frumble, we might be able to make use of this saw. Blimey, not the friendliest chap, is he? Mm, I have a feeling he needs a drink. I say, old chap, a moment of your time. Greetings, my good man. Good day to you. What can I do for you? I have a ticket for conveyance of myself and my colleague here with a Mr. Walters. I, I wonder if you know the gentleman. Oh, that layabout. Oh, I know him all right, but you'll not be going anywhere with him until he pays his docking fees. 
Nobody leaves this dock without my say so. No docking fee, no permit to leave. I say, Winklebottom, this Walters fellow sounds like a flaky sort of character, what? Well, can we discuss this permit? How might we obtain a permit to allow us to leave the dock? Well, you could get Walters to pay his docking fee, but that's not likely to happen. Tell you what, I'm a bit short staffed today, so if you help me with repairing this ship, I'll give you a permit. Manual labour? Don't much like the sound of that. I have a surgeon's hands, don't you know? Well, what can we do to help? I can do the actual work, but I've run out of wood. I need some planks or something. Very well, we shall obtain some wood for you. Also, this barrel of tar here is solidified. I don't need much, but I need a way to melt some of it. Some way to melt the tar, I see. Shouldn't be a problem for a genius like you, eh what? Right then, from... I sailed. The fellow over there is proving a bit troublesome. Oh him, he's harmless really, as long as you don't greatly value your eyeballs. Delightful. You'll not be getting anything out of him until he's got his morning drink inside of him. And I'm not talking about coffee if you take me meaning. I see. Well then, thank you for your- So, if we go and we use the rope to get the key. I'm not really sh It's no good. The rope can't get any per- No, I don't think- And- The door to the pub- Yes, and the fellow over there is- I have reservations- I'd really rather not. No, I don't think. And uh, no. No, I don't. This seems unlike. I have res. I have res. It's no good. This seems a a boat ah, hook. Boat hook. We all know I am ah, terrible. Ah, yes, this seems to be just a ticket. Be Perhaps I should keep this hook for collecting out. Right then, this should do the trick. Thank you kindly, sir. Right then, let's see what that bleeder has been up to in my pub. <laughs> Wouldn't fancy being in that fellow's shoe. You're bleeding well played for this, Walt. There's a lot what you've done. This bleeding barrel is bleeding well empty now. Get out, yeah? Keep your snout out of me business. I'll be leaving on me own time. I won't be taking no orders from a landlubber like you. I say, Frumpel, this is the chap who's going to sail us to the island. The fellow looks like he's barely able to stand, let alone sail a ship. I don't know about you, Frumble, but I'm a touch perturbed about the competence of our sozzled sailor. The chap must be completely half cut if he's drunk that lot. Hey, get your pilfering paws off those glasses. They be mine, you hear? A barrel made of wooden plank. I say, Barkeep. You'd be doing me a favour. That beer soaked bulldog has emptied it anyway. Damned if I can figure out where you keep all this stuff. A rum jug. Suspicious, you think? Maybe. No, Frumple, I mean it's a. Get your bleed. This seems unlike. Get your bleed noobs off. Uh, I mean, would you mind leaving that where it is, please, sir? Oh, Lisa, doesn't have those a day to these thieving bleeders. This fireplace is as cool as the a Since the landlord is looking the other way, perhaps I might borrow this for a moment. I'll be sure. The fellow's probably used to things going to walk about in this place, ain't he? I say, Winklebottom, that fellow looks like a bit of a bore. Eh, hey, what? Yes, yeah, very good, Frumple. Oh, what 
terrible siren song be that? Last orders are upon us already? How can I help you, sir? Ah, it was but a false alarm. I wonder what you can tell us about the sailor that's been slumped over that table over there. The bane of my bleeding existence, that's what he is. He's cleared me out. Can you believe it? Drunk all me bleeding beer, he has. Very bothersome, I'm sure. I say, old chap, any chance of lighting the fire? There's a bit of a nip in the air, after all. No bleeding way. Cost me money, that does. And with that waste of space, drink me out of house and home. I need to save every last shilling. It'll have to get a lot colder in here before I start the fire. I say, old boy, would you mind awfully letting us have that jug of rum you have sitting on the bar over there? Well, suppose you did help me get back in the pub. Fine, you can have the bleeding thing. On the ass, like. Well, thank you for your... Very good, sir. We should take our reward... Colder so that now let's see if we can't get this window open. He'll start a fire. It's no good. Stuck you another go. Probably just been painted over. Well, if you say so. Oh. oh dear. Well, I didn't go entirely according to plan. Not awfully embarrassing. Still got the job done. What? Okay, now let's go out here. We give the jug a rum. To our friend, you have inserted some alcohol. Perhaps this will quench your thirst. I say, need to rip your blasted hoof off. Well, that seems to have calmed him down considerably. Though I can't help but feel we aren't really helping the poor wretch here. Now this fellow has calmed down, I'm sure he won't object to us borrowing his saw. You see, doesn't mind a bit. Now, Frumple, you hold on to the barrel and I'll attempt to chop it up. Careful where you're waving that thing. No other doctors around to patch me up if you slip, you know. <laughs> will this do the job? Ah, yes, this will do nicely. I can use this wood for my repairs. This tar is hard as rock. We'll need to heat it to get any out. I can't stand the filthy stuff. Looks like mud, but just you try wallowing in it. You need a chisel to get it off. Okay. So that window's been opened a bit. Let's go in. I say, it is rather chilly in here, what? Yeah, it's colder than Poseidon's drawers in here. Oh, for goodness sake, I'll have to light the bleeding fire now. A roaring hot gives the place a rather good... Now to heat up this poker somewhat. Yes, that's done the trick splendid. Be careful with that thing, don't want to burn a hole in your breeches. We need to repair the ship so that we can actually go anywhere anyway. Right then, Frumble, just watch this. Yes, the hot poker is melting through the tar like butter. Oh, what a noxious nip. Let's get rid of the stuff quickly. This tar is... Can't stand the filthy stuff. I say, old chap, a moment of your... T well, can we... Well, what I can do the actual work very well, we shall obtain also this barrel of tar some way to melt the shouldn't be a problem for Right then from Thank you for that, fellows. First class job, even if I do say so myself. Well nobody else is likely to. Well with that done, I'm finished for the day, so you're both free to go. Give this permit to Walters and let him know his debt is cleared. This time. I have reservations. 
Oi, what is it? You are Salty Walters, I take it? Uh, then you are to take us to the Isle of Bargast. No, I be staying here with me drinks. I'll not be sailing today, not for you or anyone else. I say you, Rotter. We have tickets, you know. Pay for in advance. Nah. Now look here, you bounder. We have tickets, and you will jolly well sail us out of that island, dash it all. I won't be sailing today. I drinks me beer to wash away the terrible taste of the salty seawater. Hate it, I does. I'll not be sailing again for a while, now that I've got that accursed taste out of me system. Ironic that a man named Salty should hate the taste of seawater so, isn't it, Crumple? Yeah, that's inconvenient if you ask me. I say, old boy, we have a permit here. You're free to leave the docks whenever you wish. Does that long neck of yours make you hard of hearing or something? I already said I'll not be leaving here while I still have me drinks. I say this is just too much. You, sir, are a, a cad, a, a bounder, a, a, a dash rotter, hang it all. Steady on there, old boy. Well, goodbye then. Fellow seems more than a little worse for wear, thanks to all that beer. No, I don't. I'd really rather. This seems un. Oi, what is it? Well, goodbye, fellow seems. How can I help you, sir? I wonder what you can tell us about the sailor that's been slumped. The bane of my bleeding existence, that's what he is. He's clear. Very bothersome, I'm sure. Well, thank you. Very good, sir. This seems unlikely. Oh, a terrible siren. Ah, twas but a false alarm. What be that noise? Hey, get your pill for him, Paul. Oh, what? What be that noise? Hey, get your. The sailor's glass of beer. That be my niggery thieving. These are made by the finest trap. I have no idea what these are for, but they look. The painting of a ship. It's perhaps not the most refined piece of artwork I've seen. Probably for the best. I wouldn't hang anything valuable in this place. I presume this is a landlord. Oh yes, handsome-looking sow, isn't she? This seems un- <laughs> Lord Winklebottom committing common last- Lord Swim so get that darn <laughs> Oh 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 I know what to do I might be able to get some seawater in this if only I could get I've tied the rope through Now I'll lower the jug down on this rope and but a false alarm. No, I don't. What be ye playing? Frightfully sorry, I'm going to need to distract me. Oh, what? Quickly, while well, he's not... Blah. Blah, what be this foul flavour? Me last beer is ruined and that pickaroon pig won't sell me no more. 
Do I take it you might now be willing to carry out your job? No reason not to now. Maybe the Admiral can see his way to providing me with a bit of the old grog. Go way back, him and me. Shall we meet at the docks, then? Aye, I'll be waiting in me vessel. Make it quick, mind ye. We should leave these. We've already taken... Alright. My word, there appears to be a storm coming in. We must make haste. I say, Winklebottom, have a look at this tiny little boat. Wouldn't fancy my chances trying to cross the sea in that thing, eh? Quite so, old man. Wait. Aye, that it be, and what of it? I just don't think it looks particularly seaworthy. She's a fine vessel. Served me on many a long voyage she has. Besides, I'd be the only sailor in dock right now, so you don't have a choice. That's not terribly reassuring. Shall we set sail for the island, then? Aye, that we will. All my permits are in order, so all aboard for the Isle of Barkest. So that looks to be it for today's demo. It's cute. Um, as I've said many a time, I am not the best at point and clicks, but I kind of like this one. It's it's pretty manageable, uh, with the small exception of me mentally zoning out on getting seawater. But <laughs> thank you all for, uh, for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell icon to keep up to date on all the videos. And remember to free the feral wildflower in you. Bye-bye!